Well, good evening there, and welcome to issue number eight of um, my forecast. Uh, this forecast section is all about um, the Scorpios and all their eastern combinations. Um, if you're not sure which year you are, um, and it's the first time you've joined me, um, just check through my prior videos uh, or um, just message, email me on here, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you wasn't sure which um, eastern animal you are, as concerns your year of birth. Um, and this is for the year of the horse, by the way. This, this uh, forecast doesn't kick in until the 31st of January uh, 2014, and it goes right round to uh, the 18th of February 2015. So, um, we're not quite there yet, so you're still actually in the year of the snake. Um, we're in the last part of that, and we will be changing the very end of this month. Okay, let's start straight away then with um, my three top rated Scorpios for this coming year. Uh, these are the ones that can have a very, very good, strong year. And um, the, the, the three in this section, and we're going to start the Scorpio horse. Now the Scorpio horse, we're coming into their year. Um, so that's very significant because... Um, very much connected to if you're in your eastern year um, you really have a particularly good time and especially around your birthdays here for the Scorpios so you're looking at October, November and December it's a really really strong time for you uh, the horse uh, highly skillful the Scorpio horse and um, although they are prone to slight unpredictabilities as opposed to their emotions um, sometimes that can get in the way a little and make them make a rush decision. They're going to be finding that a lot clearer this year. Um, their uh, tendency to, I say, um, overreact too quick. That's going to be a bit more subdued. They're going to be a bit more balanced. And this can only work brilliantly for this combination because it is ho so highly skillful. They really can achieve whatever. Um, with the Scorpios, that's so determined. Um, and they really do know their life plan. They really have figured it out, but it's just putting it into execution because sometimes the emotions boil up and they might do something erratic. But rest assured this year, uh, Scorpio horse, you're going to be a lot more in tune with yourself and not making decisions that are going to upset you and you're going to ruin. Right, let's go into the second one that's going to have another excellent year and that's going to be the Scorpio tiger. The Scorpio tiger. Uh, as we know, very justice orientated, and, and a lot of that justice then turns around on them. Um, if it's within their moral code, they accept it. If it's not, they're very intolerant of it, and uh, that can be quite damning when they feel that intolerance. Um, but this year, they're going to tolerate some different viewpoints. It's going to be a bit more at a um, awareness, religious-wise, also with um, you know uh, just different cultures they're going to be uh, a lot more um, accepting shall we say of uh, that's the way some people are they're going to be able to shrug it off and it's not going to feel like a knife wound to the heart when they feel as though you know that's just the way that it goes for the Scorpio Tiger uh, sometimes they can take on a problem that's happening a million of miles away or just like it was right next to them um, but they'll be able to detach themselves slightly um, by thinking, okay, that's what does happen. Um, I need to be able to affect what happens to me. And they'll be a lot clearer with that, which um, I think is majorly important for this combination. Um, and the justice will always be there. Their moral uh, conduct will not falter. So it's just a way of um, dealing with some of the bad stuff that does go on. Also, an excellent strong year for the Scorpio dog. The Scorpio dog, um, yes, there can be a little pessimism around them. And they coming out of a year where pessimism might have been quite high, where there's always a feeling of foreboding or um, they can't quite rest. The, the Scorpio dog will work hard, but they always feel as though they're not quite doing enough. But, you know, they're going to have to ease up on themselves a bit. And I think this year they will find a bit of calmness through the uh, year of the horse in the sense of, hey, I'm doing the very best I can. They may relax a little bit because they're so watchful and they're so 
um, worry orientated that you know no matter what they've got it's not enough well you're going to have to think well hey I've done alright so far I'm strong enough so far so the world isn't going to end this massive thing isn't going to go wrong um, and you start to relax and get that great sense of humour coming to the fore and um, get those friendships going again you know don't worry about you haven't got time we've always got time so just make that bit of time for for the friends that um, and your family members especially that are very dear to you so you know and that'll make you feel good and as I say relax a little which I'm sure you will in this coming year the next three in my category are three very solid years for the, the following Eastern combinations they're going to be having a good strong uh, foundation building year and um, as I can say there's going to be a little bit of luck going with them as opposed against them and the first one in this category is the Scorpio Pig the Scorpio Pig has come out of a real sort of tough year I know we're not over it yet Scorpio Pig but it's nearly ending you can feel it's fading you can feel the strain and stress of it um, fading ever so much um, there's been the problems with the home, there's been problems with quarrels, uh, especially as around the family. And um, the Scorpio pig, because of their brightness and their just sharpness um, and very perceptive, um, they find it very difficult, difficult to forgive people being stupid around them. Well, this year is all about tolerance. It's all about saying, well, you know, Scorpio pig, you've got to ease up a little bit everybody doesn't know what you're thinking um, yes you're excellently bright and that's never going to change but you just have to um, adapt to different levels of how people are around you you'll find that a lot easier this year and you'll find it a lot easier to be a little bit diplomatic about that you're quite damn in if you find someone's made an obviously bad mistake you let them know um, and sometimes you're just so disgusted in it that you could just turn your back on it and don't even talk to them for a while so you know you're going to find it that you're a lot more tolerant which is excellent especially around family members and um, the home which is so value and um, that security well that's going to feel a lot better this year because there's been problems with houses um, roofs uh, pipes it's all been against with coming out the euro snake it's all been against the pig in a big way so you'll find that's easy and there's a bit more money to go around as well because the Scorpio pig always has a few bob for the rainy day but they found that's been tested but they're going to get back to having um, that few quid in the bank which gives them that little bit of confidence so if anybody does act stupid around them they can cover it up with enough cash also the last one in this section is oh sorry the second from the last one is the Scorpio Dragon another excellent year for the Scorpio Dragon um, fantastic business people so strong um, love to put the hours in and they're going to get their rewards um, if they're starting a new business venture carry on because I can only see it being very good Scorpios always do their homework so um, they're not going to be making a rush decision there um, they don't need to be told to look over the figures properly because that's been done and just carry on with that bit of confidence you're not making a mistake there's some excellent opportunities there and no doubt that you've picked them out romantically you'll find that um, it's going to be a bit better too whereas you feel as though um, sometimes you're not listened to and your just generosity gets taken for an advantage um, you know advantage of sometimes uh, you're going to feel that it's reciprocated and you don't feel so much as though you're carrying the world. You feel as though people are actually chipping in and out and out of it, which really does make you feel good. It makes you feel as though um, your drive and your loyalty and your will to succeed, you've got the right people in place behind you. And if not, it's a very good year to be looking for that right person. As I say, look at my combinations on the Scorpio Dragon um, video and you'll see your perfect matches and it's a good year to find that perfect match if you haven't already got them and the last one in this section for having a fantastic a solid year is going to be the Scorpio Go um, the Scorpio Go um, is um, eccentric 
uh, but they're very gentle and they're very uh, love of beauty um, and they just their love of just the finer things in life well it's going to be uh, you're going to find like minded people you're going to be finding the people that you're going to enjoy spending your time with they're going to be um, you know appreciating the art galleries they're going to be appreciated you're going to get into a circle of people that you feel as though you can be yourself yes you're very eccentric um, but it's so wonderful and you're going to be around people that don't question it in a way like and you feel a bit as though you're under the microscope you feel as though you can breathe you feel as though you can um, go out and be yourself um, and that sensuality um, will be a, a very strong point for you this year where you'll find that um, you know, sexually, it's going to be strong. You're going to be very magnetic, and I know, you know, you need to use that wisely. But hey, you know, um, stop getting some stuff for you. Get some stuff in for you. So that's what I would um, imagine um, is the best course of action. Just have a good year because it hasn't all been plain sailing, and so it's just nice to get that Philip inside you where you think the beauty and everything in the house of the goat. It then thrives. They become very strong um, and it's all about that tenderness if they receive it there they're on top of the world and they will be finding people like-minded around them the next three in my section are going to have a watchful year I don't say it's a disastrous year but they're going to have to be watchful and we're going to start that section with Scorpio rooster now the Scorpio rooster does hide their emotions a lot um, and they are very unpredictable in that sense but there's such a, a, an endearing strength there that you do know if the Scorpio rooster is on your side then they're on your side there's no question about that and they are fantastic friends they're not highly emotive like some of the other Scorpios because they can tend to hide this and um, they normally take it out maybe in a slightly aggressive way or throwing themselves into work so the microscope's not on them in that sense but they're going to have to keep an eye on the friends around them, ones that they may have trusted. I know they're not normally very discerning, but sometimes you can be putting energy into people that may not deserve it. And I really want you to be watchful of this because that would hurt you. Um, it takes a lot to hurt this character, and if you hurt them, you won't. They, you won't see it um, in public. They'll be going off somewhere, licking their wounds, but they would never try it. But this could be. Uh, quite a tricky year for the friends wise and also money wise um, fluctuations with having a few quid but you're very generous to them not having a few quid very quickly so just keep an eye on that bank as well because it's not you're incapable of earning the money this year that's not going to be the problem it's going to be keeping hold of it and spending it wisely so have a look in that circle of friends um, is anybody taking advantage etc etc like that so um, just be very watchful now we have to go into my second one in the list and that's the Scorpio Ox the Scorpio Ox um, can be a little fanatical um, it takes them a while to get to their viewpoints but once they get to them they can be um, not budged at all um, and they have an intolerance for others that don't share that viewpoint they're going to have to relax a little bit here because those fanatical opinions etc uh, that could be um, very sort of uh, non-helpful for the people closest to them because they don't realise they're doing it they're so passionate, amazingly driven and they need a routine but if that routine's thrown out at all then they get tetchy, they get uh, fanatical and they can get quite anxious because the ox needs routine they need tradition they need to know what they're doing when they're doing it that's thrown out ever so slightly there's the problems so the partner of the Scorpio Ox keep an eye on this um, Scorpio Ox yourself you know what you need you need routine and you need rhythm and you do it in your own time you do it in your own way and then that keeps you in a placidity but we have to be careful about the views sometimes that can cloud everything from the whole day that you don't want that coming and spoiling it and not just for you for the people around you and um, then you start to feel quite low on yourself and are prone to solitude and that doesn't really help anybody so keep an eye out there and the last one in my list of um, 
keeping a watchful eye, um, so to speak, um, is going to be the Scorpio monkey. The Scorpio monkey, um, they like attention, they're very worthy of grabbing attention, they're very um, uplifting, they can be uh, a jack in a box, they can sometimes skim along the surface, but there's no doubt about it that they are the go-getters and they are going to work damn hard. It's going to be a year where they're going to have to, you know, make sure they get notes for what they're doing because I can see the Scorpio monkey getting flattered a little and being, you know, responsible for bringing too many people along, dragging too many people along in the workplace. People are maybe feeding off you. Um, that's not good. It's a bit like the mother scorpion where they carry their young on the back, but you'll be feeling so you'll, you'll be carrying the, the whole of the workforce with you and thinking, hold on, they're getting a free ride here, I'm putting everything in. Now, then the ruthless Scorpio monkey comes out and they change from being that social um, jack-in-the-box to being a little bit aggressive. So be very wary that you don't go down that road. Warn the people early to buck up or you're going to see the wrong side of you. That should be enough, because once they get that look from your eyes and know you mean it, but you're going to have to put your foot down in the workplace, just be watchful for that and get your overtime and get your money that you're due. You know, too many times you've been taking a bite job and I want to see it stop this coming year. The next three are going to have a tough year. Um, there's no bones about it, the way, the way it all looks, uh, it's going to be hard, but you're armed with the tools um, and you will get out of it and there's going to, you, I want you to get the right people around you to make it as successful as it possibly can, because it's going to be tough and let the people know around you how difficult it's all going to be. Okay, so let's start this section with the Scorpio Rabbit. The Scorpio Rabbit, tender, but also very, very well armed with the people they know. Um, they do love their home, yes, but they do strive to make their home bigger and better. Well, they're going to find um, quarrels in the home place. They're going to find money is miraculously or disappearing, etc. Um, is everybody on the, in their family on their side? Or is there an outstanding feud over an inheritance, over anything like that? Because this is going to rear its ugly head. Um, there's going to be quarrels back and forth. The Scorpio Rabbit doesn't enjoy that. Don't get me wrong, they can fight the corner, but they don't like it. They like to put in a white lie rather than cause conflict. But you're going to get found out and stuff like that. So be straight, um, arm yourself with the people around you and look into everything. Um, and try and sort these quarrels out because it's a few that can start small and then get blow up and it won't just be in this year, it go boom, boom, boom and you could be looking at something where you're not talking to someone for a very long time. The next one in this section is um, the Scorpio snake. They're just coming out to snake here as we are. They've had a wonderful time. They've had a beautifully seductive time, a powerful time, a very helpful time for others. But this year, they're going to find that their heartstrings are going to be a tug. Um, they may be making a couple of wrong decisions this year. Um, they're capable of loving on so many different levels um, and being ultra powerful and ultra dangerous. But they may be meeting a match or indeed another one of their ilk that uh, you're not going to be taking prisoners with each other. So be very watchful of that. The conflicts in the um, horseshoes for the state don't bode so well. Um, you are armed with excellent ability to um, escape trouble, defend trouble, take trouble to somebody. But I would avoid those circumstances because this is a year when your heartstrings are going to get um, plagued um, and there's going to be a bit of sentimentality about the past. Uh, a couple of things might be coming back to haunt you. So, just float through it, use that armoury and that charm, and I'm sure you will manage to fight this difficult year. And last but not least, it's going to be an equally and uh, probably even more so tough year for the Scorpio rats. Um, the Scorpio rat being a um, very gregarious Scorpio, um, a very talkative, 
are very possessions orientated Scorpio we're gonna they're gonna find the things that they love um, not having a good time their friendships may be suffering or suffer um, their possessions which they pride themselves on a cur on a curing and looking after um, they're gonna fall on some hard times with money and also I wouldn't be looking for a lover relationship whatsoever in this year coming up because it's the notoriously against the rat the year of the horse there's no bones about that try and get the good people around you get those close friends that you have got and get talking get talking early you're very good at talking talk anytime pick up the phone any day day and night talk to them and say it's not going to break for me those people that have been in your life will flock around you because and don't feel too proud to ask for help this is a time you're going to need help so you know please don't be scared of that and you need to have your family members you know there um, and just rest assured look you could have problems with you know there could be a bit of depression front of that as well but don't let it fester don't think oh I'm too tough I can deal with it get to the doctor get talking to people and I'm sure you will fight what's coming for you this year as strong as ever and those at the bottom three that I've suggested now if you get through this year which you will right it's like the will it goes round and you'll get through it um, it will make you so much stronger and much more prepared for the next time we reach this this combination of planets so it's only a good thing and the Scorpios will take the benefit out of that as they all do and they look further ahead quite well well to all my Scorpios I want you to have a wonderful year as best as possible and please tune in for your next episodes. Thank you.